Hey guys, how's it going? It is your boy, Manga Mandrew, and I'm here to do my manga reaction to Dr. Stone, manga chapter 221. And if I remember what happened in the last chapter, and I do, I didn't just read it, uh, we got the reveal of who most likely the second person going up into space is actually going to be. We got to see Ryusui going through what we seem to be a little bit more of character development, character growth, as he comes to a realization that he may not be the best choice to actually head up to the moon, where we have him at the end of the chapter confront Stanley's statue. So most likely Stanley is going to be recruited in this chapter, and we're most likely going to see him be accepted into the astronaut program, where it's going to eventually lead to potentially Sinku giving up his role to someone else, maybe? I don't know. We're just going to have to react to it and see, which we're going to do right now with the title and the cover of this chapter, Dr. Stone, Z equals 221, entrusting it all in our war against Y-Man, the most capable pilot on our side actually isn't me as we get to see real sweet thinking about everything is coming to the conclusion that yeah he's not going to be the one going up to the moon and most likely it's going to be stanley as we hear a rumble rumble either of the waterfalls or that uh real sweet did a stupid and a crazy as we just have him sitting back looking at a rocket remembering about the ship that he made that we saw last chapter saying this ship's not counting just being a model i'm gonna set sail someday on a real ship of my own as Ryusui is just looking at that, as you have Senku talk, being talked to Ryusui, as Ryusui is like, Hey Senku, question for you in the form of a parable. Say you're a knight in some medieval kingdom, and you just have Senku's like, Huh? As a young and dashing knight, you pine for the princess of the palace. You talk about having a future together, but the prince has a more appropriate suitor the prince from the next kingdom over marriage between the two will bring peace and harmony to all the land what's your move as a science pro as we see ryusui taking off his captain hat oh no oh this is going to be i could tell what's about to happen he's like what are you babbling about <laughs> as he's looking at the like model spaceship and it's like Sinku just comes to a realization of Oh, as he cuts over to the first fight they had with Stanley, as he begins to explain that a science pro is a man of efficiency. So if the other dude is 10 billion percent a better fit for the job than me, then of course I'm handing over the reins. Oh, okay. And if Siku was saying this, oh, come on, this has to be foreshadowing. As you have Reese, it's like, <laughs> but you knew my answer before you even asked. Hmm kind of rude to call me out like that oh oh and now you have Zeno with a shock expression on his face with a rumble rumble and it's like ah uh, a truly wise choice for the job no objections i presume as you have Gein in the background thinking it's like playing it cool to the max when he can't help but show emotion he simply hides his face oh yeah he's so happy for the fact that his friend is coming back like master like pupil right Zinku? But I must say, I'm shocked by this proposal. Stan is the ultimate soldier. If we join forces, we might try to take over the world again. As you asked Ryu, he's like, <laughs> the world domination scheme is a non-starter with so much back up and running. Besides, a man of science is a man of efficiency. So I say we can put our trust in you. And as you have sick, he's like, <laughs> yeah, some folks are gonna push back on this risky decision we've made. As you just have Zeno's like, with his smug expression as he says, tell those malcontents that I made a threat, that I swore to sabotage the rocket engines unless you revive Stanley. And just like, no, we'll tell them the truth. There's no need to burden you with the villain's role anymore, Zeno. Ah. Uh, whether you like it or not, you're a citizen of the kingdom of science now. You're one of our leaders. As you just have this expression on his face like, mm, he, he, he hates the fact that that's true. As you have everyone reacting, you have Kalk is like, Stanley Schneider? As you have Ginryo's like, wake him up! As you have Chill Salsa say, he's gonna be the Rockets pilot! As you just have Gein saying, ta-da! Dear Sukasa will accompany Zeno, just in case something horribly wrong goes about. So, you know, that's gonna be cool. As you have Sukasa's like, 
on paper, we can say that I'm guarding a VIP, but should Stan rebel, Sukasa will undoubtedly cause him bodily harm coming from Zeno. And it's like, call me a hostage if you wish. I mean, yeah. As you have Gimura's like, but, 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 but why? He might grab a gun and start shooting the second he wakes up. As you have uh, Yo's like, not Yo. Yeah, no, yeah. Not Yo. Uh, Ukiyo. He's like, I wouldn't worry. Stanley's a soldier who follows orders and does what the mission asks of him. He's proven that much, and I doubt that's changed. I mean, yeah. As you have Gimura's like, he's scary! Keeping him locked up forever! <laughs> Keep him locked up forever. Even Kong is like, ha, this works out perfectly. The moon mission could be deadly, and he'll be heading up there to save all of humanity. No better way to atone for what he's done, right? Coming from Chelsea's like, she just has the dot, dot, dot. Looking at Ryusui, he's like, you sure about this, Ryusui? As Ryusui's like, ha ha, sure I'm sure. I may be an ace pilot, but my shooting skills? Not what I mean. Weren't you hyped to go to the moon? Coming from Chelsea, as Ryusui's like, most likely it's like, yeah, I was hyped, but it's for the mission. Like, I may want to do this, but I want to do something else more. That's probably what he's thinking. So as they go over to the waterfall in the Rebel Wearable, and he's like, hmm. The greatest marksman alive should do a bang up job for us. Who would desire? Who wouldn't desire that? Coming from Ryusui, it's like after all, I'm the greediest guy the world's ever known. So he chalks it up to him just being more greedy. As he wakes up, Stanley Zeno is confronting him right now, handing him a cigarette, and it's like, what's the job? Oh, uh, as you have Sink is like. Love it when they catch on so quickly. As you know, it's like, Stanley will execute any task he believes he's capable of. Professionalisms are always quick on the uptake. Say you shoot a one pound piece of illumination with an initial velocity of 600 meters per second. On the moon's surface, gravity and acceleration are a six what they are on Earth and air resistance zero. Your target is a Medusa device exactly one kilometer away. As you have him saying, firing angle should be 0.13 degrees. Ooh. As he's like, as you have Sinko's like, <laughs> the math checks out. Did Stanley's sheer intuition help him come up with that number? As you have Zeno's like, are you up to the task, Stan? As Stan just touches his face and is like, Sure. I'm getting very, very, like, just, uh, and she's like, I am, uh, it's, it, it's, it, it's very sexual tension between Stanley as well as, you know, they may be more than just friends, if you know what I mean, but yeah, now we're cutting over to Risui, firing at the targets, and it's like, haha, I might have lost my seat on the space rocket, but as the backup, I'd better polish my skills. Just doing my pilot's duty, am I wrong? As you have Stanley looking from afar, Francois is also here, so you know, that's cool. And Stanley's just looking, it's like, and Francois begins to speak, it's like, How very like you, Master Risui. You've set aside your personal desire in favor of a greater desire, victory for mankind. So noble of you to relinquish your spot to Master Stanley without regret. And she's like, hmm, there's no need to comfort me. I wanted this so bad, damn it, as we see him thinking about his ship, and he begins crying, ah, and Francois is also, like, crying along with him, ah, as you see that he shoots the target, and it's like, bang, 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 it's like, bullseye, at this range, so skillful, as he's like, wasn't me. As we see, oh, Stanley shot, made the shots, and it's like, Sinku Ishigami, Kohaku, Stanley Snyder, throws three have been selected. As we cut over to the final part of this chapter of Sinku's, like, rocket or satellite is up in the sky, end of chapter. So... Wow, uh, I didn't think that we were going to get a lot more, like, character growth and development from Risui in this chapter, but... Dang, do we get it? So, 
to boil down everything that happened in this chapter, uh, what happened pretty much is that they finally confirmed that Stanley is going to be one of the pilots heading up to the moon, and we got to see a lot of development from Ryusui as a character, and that's pretty much what this chapter boils down to. We had him talking to Sinku, talking to Zeno, pretty much confirming his plans with them, talking about who would be the best for the job, and they do agree that it would be Stanley. And even though that there are some people that may not fully agree with it, uh, they still go along with the plan. Stanley does get freed, and there's this weird tension between Stanley and Zeno, but, you know, uh, not really that important. But throughout this entire time, we do get to see uh, Ryusui, like, questioning what he wants to do and how uh, we have Francois bringing up the fact that he's giving up one desire for a greater desire, which makes sense for his character. But even so, he was probably one of the very few that was, like, the one that really wanted to go to the moon. Like, he wanted to fly the ship to the moon. That's something that he's been dreaming of and talking about through, throughout the entire story. And he won't be able to do it, which he realizes this and he puts that aside for pretty much the betterment of mankind. And even in this chapter, we see that his choice is correct. We see that Stanley is a very great marksman and the fact that he's going to the moon and is not just a great pilot, but a great shooter, is two birds with one stone. So, all in all, I think this chapter was just a very great chapter of just showing more characterization and more character growth and more character development, not just for like Stanley a little bit, but mainly for Ryusui, showing that even though he is someone who desires everything, that he realizes that even if he desires it, he may not necessarily get it, and that he's willing to accept that if it means that he gets something even greater. So I just find it very interesting about how we've been focusing on Ryusui as a character, not just in this chapter, but even last chapters and a few chapters prior, we've gotten a lot of focus with, with Ryusui and that's just something that I never really thought that we would get. So I'm really enjoying it and I'm seeing that we are going to get like not probably a lot of development for everyone, but we're probably going to get some more development for Ryusui, most likely some more with uh, Kohaku, most likely, and hopefully some more with uh, Chrome and Senku because they kind of confirmed that, oh yeah, uh, Kohaku, Stan, Stanley and Senku are the ones going up to space, but I'm still very hesitant on Senku because we've twisted it with uh, Tsukasa, we've twisted it with Ryusui, it just makes sense to follow it down that same path and twist it with Senku, and instead of having Senku going up into space, we have Chrome, which they may come to a conclusion that Chrome may be a better fit for this space race than Senku because he's able to think up of plans on the fly that even Senku and Zeno couldn't think of. So having a more strategic scientist going up into space to fight an unknown enemy may be more advantageous than having a scientist that knows a whole lot of information about how science works but isn't as strategic and is still bogged down by the intelligence that they've gained over the years. So I think that it would still be possible to have a Senku uh, leave the mission because he's not physically strong enough but we've seen that most likely Chrome is physically strong enough to withstand like the pressures and all of that. And he is a science user, meaning all of the requirements that are needed for someone to actually go to the moon. So yeah, overall, still really enjoyed this chapter of Dr. Stone. Uh, always been great chapters each week. Love the series to death. And I know for a fact that next week is also going to be a great chapter. So let me ask you, what did you think of this chapter? And do you think that a Stanley Snyder being one of the astronauts to go to space is the right decision? Leave your thoughts down in the comments down below. Leave a like on the video if you liked it. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. And don't forget to hit that notification bell to be notified for whenever I upload more content like this. Do all that cool jazz. And hopefully I'll be able to catch you in the next video. Goodbye.